about that. And also I've been hearing really good things about Playwright for a while, but also this yes. whole, uh, but, but we also love Angular. So we want to use Playwright with Angular. So I, we I want- I will say the, the Playwright style of testing, mm -hmm. I think is largely in alignment with the direction we want to take Angular testing in general. So can you tell us anything about component testing for Angular in Playwright? Uh, I, I, the issue is something where Playwright wants to figure out the best way on their end to support something. Yeah. And so they're like, they want to pause the integration until they can make some technical decisions uh, and come up with an architecture that they're happy with. That was the, the reading I had of the issue. Uh, Let's flag I, this issue as another issue that Tech Stack Nation group is acutely interested in. Okay. Because we're because we because we're because we need this for our jobs, Alex. <laughs> yeah. So uh, definitely, if you can find out more about that, we would be very happy to learn more about that. And also, I've been hearing really good things about Playwright for a while, but also this yes. whole uh, but but we also love Angular, so we want to use Playwright with Angular. So I, we I want... will say the the Playwright style of testing, mm -hmm. I think, is largely in alignment with the direction we want to take angular testing in general okay uh, so that, okay. that's the style of like you know ex update you know making some change in tests like click the button you know um mock some event from the server and then wait for something to appear on screen like actually assert that the ui changed in the way that you were expecting rather than kind of some of the current style is like you know, manually trigger a change detection and then look for the element to be there or something like that. Um, that style of testing is the one that we want to move towards. Um, so I- Very helpful information. Yeah. Any Cause we're writing this stuff, so we need to know. Become more and more compatible. Say it uh, again. Tool, tools that work in that model, I think should be like things we are becoming more compatible with. Love it. Love it. Okay, so we love Playwright and we want to use Angular with Playwright. And so we're kind of watching this. So basically for now, we, there is a community yeah. uh, solution for that. And the Playwright, and that was the thing is the Playwright team was the one who was posting about that. <clears throat> so it's suffice it to say, it should be safe for now to go ahead and use the community library, yeah, um, which I normally wouldn't necessarily say, go use community libraries, but go ahead and do that for now. And then we're gonna, you're gonna keep us posted. Um, or yeah. if you, if you see them working on it, you can let them know that, cause, cause sometimes you introduce us yeah. to people and like uh, Matthew Riegler, we love Matthew Riegler. We haven't seen him in a while. You can always send him to us and just let them know that, um, Bonnie and her gang of nerds are very interested in this topic. And if you're interested, um, I have never written a playwright test oh. and it would be really cool if we could have a session where like some of you would teach me how that works. Absolutely. We would get Edward Thompson because he just did a talk about this yeah. like two weeks ago on our YouTube channel. He would be here with us. And Lars also, I believe, um, Pavel, we have several playwright pe people using playwright in this group. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That would be Thank fun. You so much.